The Candle Seesaw, a Grinnell College physics project by William Case and Paul Jossum. Put a pin between two candles and rest the ends between two wine glasses, making a seesaw. Strike a match and light both ends. At first, the lower end drips faster, and the seesaw becomes horizontally balanced as that end loses mass. But then, a curious thing happens. The seesaw begins to rock back and forth, and the motion grows steadily larger. You have not touched the seesaw since you lit the candles. And yet it rocks to higher and higher angle. What drives the motion? If you look carefully, you'll see that the wax drops tend to fall off when the end of a candle is below horizontal. The candle seesaw operates like a water wheel, extracting energy by taking mass from high up and releasing it at the bottom. As the candles melt and burn down, the rocking gets faster and faster, but the maximum angle of the seesaw decreases. Why don't they both grow? The candles drip at a regular rate, but the shrinking seesaw rocks faster and faster. The seesaw is now dripping at too slow a rate to match its rocking rate. Not to worry, the show isn't over yet. The drops will get back into sync by falling off every second or third time the candle end dips below the horizon, driving the seesaw to higher angles again. For more detail and extra tips for trying it yourself, download a free copy of the article from the American Journal of Physics using the link below or search for The Candle Seesaw, AJP. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch for a few more minutes to find out what happens as the candles get shorter and shorter.
first fig. My candle burns at both ends. It will not last the night. But ah, my foes, and oh, my friends, it gives a lovely light. Edna St. Vincent Millay, 1920.